Best goal we got right here is there's an infrared sensor underneath here. Okay. And uh, what we're using today is we're using the reflection of uh, the infrared coming from the sun because it's so it's so large in comparison to like an infrared LED. It, uh, we couldn't use LEDs for infrared radiation. So all we're doing is like we're showing that as it crosses the difference in infrared radiation, it'll it'll trigger a sensor that'll make it land. So it's like it'll land on the Right, so as soon as we cross the mirror, it'll land. You'll, you'll hear three beeps, and that's saying that it's powering down. That's indicating that it's powering yeah, down. Yeah, so the mirror is essentially simulating our beacon that we're going to have it land. If this was nighttime, because we could test it at night, we have LED, we have infrared LEDs, and it works the same. But when we try it in daytime, it doesn't work because the sun like washes it. So like you can. So we have an ultrasonic sensor that points down and gets the height. Of so like let's say yeah. So let's say it's landing. It, it measures the altitude. If it's too low, it doesn't measure a distance. It waits until it gets to a certain height before it starts rotating and measuring in front of it, which is for the collision avoidance. And then you can see that in a minute. Whenever something gets in front of it, it beeps and like you can show it on here. It's trying. It goes backwards. Yeah. The servo is trying to correct it backwards away from like a wall or a person. But then as it flies along and it comes and uh, goes towards like and finds like infrared light. No, the clouds came out. Yeah, the clouds. reset right here. Yeah, reset right here. Reset right here. And then it, it hits the mirror, and then it beats. It beats. Yeah. yeah. Miss it. <laughs> well, it, it given.
what's telling it to like this is telling this is reading its distance and it's in front of it and then it's altitude down. It just measures it, you know, twice a second. So if I put something in front here, it should be yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's going back. See how it's coming back here? See how it's coming back here? And when it and if it's on bottom it'll try to move up. Well not I mean yeah, I mean it's gonna measure the height and it'll try to get away from it. It doesn't think it's the ground. Because it wants to be a, it wants to be about this high. It wants to be about this high from the ground, that's how we have to set. So, you want to move it out so I can see? I mean, if, you, if it starts getting too high, the problem is it should start coming down. Yeah, it's like, it's like pushing down on my hands right now. Yeah, it's pretty much flying itself. So can you lay on it? Well, we taped up the inverse center so that so we could fully demonstrate the line without it sneaking or something else. It's just really hard in here with all the sunlight. Yeah, and then it stretches itself. I mean, it does stretch itself, obviously. So if you put it right over that, we did. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why that's that's we figured out this would work. But it's, it's really, there's some tile cover. I feel like it wants to come down a little bit, and then it, that's when it's, so it powered down whenever it got to the, to the IR. <laughs> like immediately power zone or you it's bright.